or may not know that I play with a band called Wishbone Ash and we have a new album coming out in November and in this lesson I wanted to share with you one of the grooves that I came up with for a song called Warm Tears. Um, there's a bit of cowbell featured on this album because when we went out to write the material I decided to take a cowbell with me and I just find myself playing around with it and coming up with some interesting grooves. So this basically was um, just a groove that I found myself playing and we ended up incorporating it into a song. So this is what it sounds like and then I'll explain what's going on. So it's something along those lines anyway. Um, so basically, this is a kind of a 12-8 groove. The guitars are going one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. And the drums are just like one, two, three, four, kick, snare, kick, snare, or some kind of kick pattern, but with the backbeat on the two and four. And then the subdivision is triplets, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it's played hand to hand, so right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, with the left hand playing the back beat on the snare. So you can play this starting off on the hi hat, and you would get this one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four. So first of all you want to get comfortable playing that and then putting in different bass drum uh, melodies basically. So work through permutations as you would with anything else. So if you could think of the three notes, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, you could try putting it on the one, one, two, three. And then you can try putting it on the two. So one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And then try putting it on the three of the triplet. and then you can try playing in various different places. So what's going on with the cowbell is that I am accenting every other stroke. So because we're playing groups of three, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, there I'm accenting right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. I'm accenting every third stroke with the right hand. Um, and that keeps it in that kind of three feel. But if you accent every other stroke, then you're basically accenting groups of four because you're going right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let me play that on the hi hat. So I'm going to start off by accenting every third stroke, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I'm going to move to accenting groups of four with the right hand. So right, 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 left, 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 one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So you can see that over the four beats, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, if you accent groups of four, then you end up with three accents. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. So that's where that kind of interesting accent pattern is coming from.
So that's basically what the groove consists of. But I prefer to play it the other way and accent the second note. So instead of one, two, one, two, one, two on the cowbell, I'm going one, two, one, two, one, two. So again, let me start off playing this on the hi hat, accenting the one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And then I will go to accenting every other note with the right hand, but this time I'm going to make sure that the one that comes with the bass drum is a quiet note. So it's the same groove, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And the only thing that we're changing is the accent pattern. And that's what's bringing out this interesting kind of overall rhythm. So the thing that I find tricky with this was I preferred to hear the cowbell accenting the upstrokes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. But if I hit a crash on the one, then my body was thinking accent and then it was natural to go to a quiet second note so you've got to remember that if you're going one two three four five six if you're going to hit a one that would be where you would normally have a quiet note so you're basically going to have three accents in a row the six one and two one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six So finally, um, what I like to do is play, is accent some of the left hand notes on the hi-hat. And I like to throw in an accented crash on the very last note before the one. So instead of crashing on the one, it's nice to have a crash by itself on essentially the and of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, or one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. So let me play this with the triplet thing, and I'm gonna accent the last of the triplet on the crash. and then go back to accenting every upbeat with the right hand and still putting that crash in. So the other thing that I started to do at the end of that pattern on the floor tom was the other accent that I was throwing in on the song, which is accenting the and of six and then the and of one. So you get this bat bat that kind of goes over the bar line. So you've got one and two and so, so, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six and one and two, three, four, five, six and one and two, four, five, six and one and two and okay.
So that's the basic concept for the groove. If you want to check out the song, I think it's going to be out on the 22nd of November. The album is called Elegant Stealth, and there's a bunch of other cool drum grooves and things on there. As always, these videos are going to go up on my blog before they go up on YouTube, so if you want to get the latest um, video lessons, then check out my website, joecrabtree.com, and like the Facebook thing on there, and you will get all these in your newsfeed. If you're not on Facebook, then go to joecrabtree.com forward slash blog and you can subscribe to the RSS feed on there and get the blog in your newsreader feed. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.